Hello everybody and welcome to another Sony Vegas tutorial and today I'm going to be covering a kind of a professional looking blur around the edge of your video for uh, a nice effect when you're making montages or OCEs or, or something like that so I've, I've got an example here to give you um, as you can see here the um, there is a blur around the edge and I'll just play it for you to show you what, what it looks like <laughs> So there's a there's a nice blur all the way around the edge which makes it look really nice and neat. So first off you're gonna Im you're gonna want to import your your um your clip. Um I mean that if, uh, all my other videos show you how to do this, so uh, there should be an annotation showing you that. You want to click and drag it here, and you want to um, make your video go to f uh, the full screen. And there's another video for that. There should be an annotation here. And then also you want to do any color correcting um, that you want. Although you probably can do it afterwards, but I've done that as well. There's also a tutorial here. So. What you want to do for the blur is go into your event effects and uh, select. Um, well, y if you haven't already got effects um, put in, then you should already be prompted with this this box here. But if not, you just click that. Just click this button here. So this window pops up, and what you want to select is soft contrast here. Add. Okay. So you're greeted with two. Um, Subcategories here, and just for you can play around with these. Um, there's some quite nice things here. To, you know, it all to help with color correction, but just for now, I'm going to put them all just to zero, so you can see the real effect of the blur. Now you go to the vid vignette, and then you want to click the blur. You can have um, white and black things, but I think the blur w works the best. I'm gonna click on blur. Strength, you probably want it about 100%. Maybe I'm just going to have it slightly less. Keep those two the same. But you're going to want an ellipse shape because I just think it looks so much, so much better. So you put that one there. Um, I don't. I personally don't like the blur to be this this far into the um, picture. So I put both these all the way up to 100, and it, and it takes it out a little bit. You can also mess with the position um, and the softness. The softness kind of makes it fade in and out a bit, a bit more and a bit less. But I, I usually just leave it where it is. So that's basically what you've got here, which is a nice ellipse-shaped blur, which um, fo it, go it focuses your video into the s into the center. So um, for intense shooting, um, it's a really nice effect to have. So I'll just play this through for you here. So as you can see, it just keeps the blur is just steady around the edge, keeps there for the whole time, and um, just looks really nice. You can you can adjust the uh, how much blur there is um, by one of the controls. I can just quickly show you. Um, you can change the strength. So if you want a, uh, if you literally want to be really blurry so you can't read any writing but you want it to 100 but I don't know slightly less is a nice effect just so you can still s you can still s make out um, like writing and shapes and stuff like the score down here um, wh which helps the viewer out because they, they want to uh, they want to see what's going on on the, on the mini map and also you know what else is going on so uh, that's that's that that's the video and if you want any other tutorials on anything like Photoshop, Sony Vegas, uh, anything on the internet, you know, you name it, I'll give you a tutorial for it. Um, but here's the annotations again for the other tutorials, um, so you can go and have a look at those. Basically that's that, so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.